It's me, Nisi J. Today I want to come to you with skincare recommendation tips for glowy, healthy looking skin this winter. If you're interested in seeing this video, keep on watching, honey. <laughs> about I jotted a few things down so you may start seeing me looking down or looking up a little bit but that's okay I just have my notes in front of me so the first skincare tip that I want to talk about is maintaining a healthy diet that is very important that is first and foremost with any kind of skin care tip you want to maintain a healthy diet that means eating right eating the foods that help your body not only your body your skin you know eating those having those antioxidants like the spinach your kale and all the vitamins and nut nutrients that you need for your skin hair and nails it's very important drinking lots of water you want to be able you know I always talk about keeping hydrated drinking lots of water Water. that's very important especially if you want to maintain healthy skin for just not just your face but all over your entire body number two on my list is exfoliating you know I talk about exfoliating so much on this channel but it's very important now over time your skin actually has build up of dead layer of skin because your skin sheds often okay and when your skin sheds where does it go it just kind of breaks off and then lays there okay you need something to scrub that dead layer of skin off so just think maybe every 30 days if it's shedding you got 30 days of skin from every day just building up on you okay just building so, with that being said, you need something to scrub that dead skin off, and that is exfoliants. Now, before I ventured into chemical exfoliants, I was using the granule. The granules, they're good, okay? To take your skin care to the next level, you want to try the chemical exfoliants. Now, the, the regular granule exfoliants, they're made out of walnut shells, so that can be a little harsh on the skin. You know, sometimes when you do that, your skin looks really red and irritated and it takes a few hours to really come back to normal. That's because of the the granules of those walnut shells, okay? But chemical exfoliants, they, you apply them on, you follow the directions and you use them accordingly. You apply it onto your face, keep it on for the amount of time that they say leave it on, then you wash it off. Somehow, it goes in there and eats off the dead layer of skin. It knows exactly what to do. And when you wash your skin, your skin looks so much healthier, vibrant, glowy, healthy, okay? Moves that layer of dead skin so your skin can breathe, okay? It is amazing. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I'm not a chemist, but I know the results after I see how my skin looks. I mean, it is very healthy looking. I like the way my appearance is when I use chemical exfoliants. So that is a step above just the regular exfoliants. Just the chemical exfoliants. Works wonderful. I love them. I use it at least twice a week. Sometimes it just depends on how my skin. Sometimes I may use it one time a week. Or you know, so it just depends on how my skin looks and feels during that time, okay? I have mature skin, I'm 52 years old, so my skin tends to change quite often. And I always tell my viewers, we need to learn how to change with the changes when our skin change, okay? So yes, but anyway, exfoliate. Tip number three, you use like antioxidant serums, or just serums in general. I love serums, they have active ingredients that work immediately, and that is what I love. You can see results within two weeks when you're using serums. My favorite serums are like vitamin C, um, hyaluronic acid, one of my absolute favorite, niacinamides, collagen serums. Um, like I, I think I said vitamin C, and the list goes on. I will link my, some of my favorite ones that I think is very vital for your skincare in the description box below. You'll see it linked there. So you just click on it, and it takes you right to the product. 
but serums are very important. Like I said, they have active ingredients that work immediately and you will see results. They help to add what you are lacking from your skin. It just helps to replenish. One of my favorite serums is hyaluronic acid. I like that because it actually helps to lock the moisture into your skin so it will not seep out into the atmosphere. That is what I love about hyaluronic acid. I see a big difference in my skin since using it years ago, okay? My skin actually retains moisture. That is really wonderful to me because before I started using hyaluronic acid, my skin always stayed dry. I mean, it really stayed dry and I drank water and did some of everything, but I don't know, when I, when I started using the hyaluronic acid, it just really helps to replenish and just lock it, lock that moisture in so it will not seep out. It just helps retain that moisture. And that's what I love about it. That's what that's what drew me to hyaluronic acid. One of my favorite ingredients. I have several different ones that I love. I have affordable and high-end hyaluronic acids that are my favorite in the description box below. So anyway, use serums. They are very potent, like vitamin C. It's an antioxidant. It helps brighten your skin very important for your skin you I promise you I promise you when you use them you will see a big difference use serums tip number three All right tip number four is actually using gentle cleansers to cleanse your skin cleansers that do not strip the natural oils from your skin cleansers that help to retain your moisture and with that being said I love creamy like lotion type um, oil balms to cleanse your skin. You don't want to use really foamy, foamy type cleansers that will strip your skin. You don't want the suzzy ones, okay? Light foam is good if it doesn't strip your skin. I can deal with the light foam, but I cannot deal with the suzzy ones that when you finish, your skin feels squeaky clean. That is not good for dry skin people. <laughs> You don't want your skin to feel squeaky clean when you have dry skin. Squeaky clean means drier skin. <laughs> you want moisturized, hydrated, clean skin with a little bit, with some moisture to your skin. You know what I mean? So yes, we want cleanses that actually cleanse but keep the hydration in your skin. So yes, using a really great cleanser that keeps your skin hydrated. Tip number five. Last but not least, <laughs> is use warm water when you're cleansing your skin. Warm to lukewarm water. You don't want to use hot water. Hot water actually helps to strip the oils from your skin. Hot water on your body will strip the natural oils from your skin. On your face especially, you really want to use warm to lukewarm water, okay? I use mine as almost cooler on my face. On your body as well, but I have a hard time doing that when I'm taking in the shower my water is super hot but I try to rinse off in cooler water <laughs> but I'm telling you for your face you definitely want to use a lukewarm water when cleansing your skin it helps to retain the moisture so that is all I have for you today I hope this video was helpful and interesting especially if you want to keep and maintain the moisture in your skin all year long I promise you with these five tips that I talked about today, you will see a big difference in just your overall skin, how it looks, how it feels, the moisture retention that you will keep and have in your skin when you do these five tips. So anyway, guys, thank you so very much for just taking time out to watch my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Peace and love until next time. For you.